In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to promote products. There are two ways of doing this. Number one, the product vendor could send you a link to promote the affiliate product. Now keep in mind that affiliate program could be private and not available on the marketplace as you can see, which is the second way. The second way of promoting products is simply going to the marketplace as you can see here under promote and click on promote products. You will be able to find products that are publicly available on the marketplace. Now you will still need to request from the product vendor in order to promote that product. Now let me show you how to do a search for products. You can do a search by product name or even seller name. If you don't know any of these, you can ignore that. You can choose categories. You can choose specific categories or all categories. You can also choose subcategories once you have picked a main category, as you can see here. And you can also choose the date, today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days, or you can specify an exact date. You can also choose the currency and the commission type. So we have instant and non-instant. Instant means that anytime you sell a product and somebody purchases through your link, you will get instantly paid. Not instant means that there might be a delay. So in this case, we'll select all. And then we have the funnel, which is the product itself. And you'll actually be able to expand and see the individual products and one-time offers within the funnel by clicking the plus sign. So as you can see here, we have the current price, the number of sales made for this product. So you have an idea of how well it could be selling. You can see the commissions that you'll get as an affiliate. You'll get the conversion rate. You'll get the visitor EPC or earnings per click. You'll see the refund rate and you'll see the visitor EPC after refund. Now, if you want accurate data, the EPC after refund generally is the better metric of looking at EPC. A lot of networks only show EPC, but you don't really get to see the refund rate. So with this, you can see the real EPC that you could potentially get. You can also see potential future commissions. If the product is a monthly product, you can also see the seller and you can click on view if you're interested in promoting that product. So as you can see, we have a lot more details. You can click view sales page so that you can see the sales page of the product. And then you can do your due diligence and go through here and make sure that that product would fit your plan and your business and your marketing plan. You can subscribe to it. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified anytime there are updates from this particular seller. And you can also contact the seller here. When you go through and you thought to yourself, well, okay, this is a product that I want to promote. You will need to request to promote this product by clicking this button here. At this point, click on request for approval. And sometimes you'll have to wait if you haven't been approved before, but sometimes if you've been approved by the vendor previously and they have set you to be auto approved, you can see that I've been set to auto approve and I can click here to get my affiliate link. At this point, I can go down here and grab my affiliate link right here. So I'll copy that over and I can begin to promote this product. And as you can see here, we have other information such as the affiliate lists or other information that the vendor has provided. Now, if the vendor has provided affiliate promotional tools, then you'll be able to get the tools here. So you can see banner ads here. We can see text links and you can also see swipe copy, which is great for emailing your list. Another thing you can do is actually sort by whatever column you want to here. But in order to sort, you will be have to click on these arrows here. So some of these don't actually have arrows. So you'll need to click these arrows and you can sort it in descending order. And if you click it one more time in the same column, you'll be able to sort them in ascending order. So let's say for example, that I only want products that have a higher EPC after refund. So once I do that, 
you can see that we have the higher EPC up at the top after the refunds. And let's say, for example, that I want seven days. So I have seven days set, so it's only showing what's been here in the last seven days. I can also show what has been high for just today itself by choosing today for the date. And we can see that this is the higher EPC from top to bottom. Or if you want to see what has been running well for a long period of time, we can say something like January 1st, 2014, all the way to June 2014 and do a search. And there we go. So you're able to play around with this and customize it to your liking.